Combat Ease, also known as Puzzle, spawning in the left bottom side of Daybreak. And Maus, Card Coaches Moro, being our red Swedish Zerg, spawning in the right top side of the map. This game was supposed to be live, guys, but because they were actually not on time, obviously we did not want to be uh, lame to them or didn't want to be mean, giving them penalty points whatsoever. Uh, so we said, okay, you can play right now because we still have a schedule to stick. There are all mm. guys who will play live today as well, and we have to stick to our schedule. So they literally played this 20 minutes ago. Obviously, we do not know the result. That's right, and they're, they're actually in the midst of game number two. So uh, we'll... Uh it's a very good way of live casting. <laughs> It's yeah, like, all right, guys, you guys play uh, game number two, we cast replay of game number one. <laughs> <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. We can make it happen, Kev. So uh, Puzzle going to go ahead and uh, show us that he wants to forge expand, not not scouting until he puts that forge down. Morrow's going to hatch first. Yeah, hatch first that against is against, thir bold. against 13 forge. Uh, I used to think that this was a death loss, or not like a death loss, but that you had to give up this expand, which... If the Protoss player is cannon rushes uh, properly, you might still have to, even though I'm not sure if he wants to. But if Moro straight away pulls drones, like before the pylon is even done, then it actually can be pretty hard to pull off. But since Puzzle is not dropping a pylon, I think that Moro is going to be uh, more than fine and he will get away with Hatch first. Wow, I can't believe Puzzle is going to just not even try yeah, to punish You can see this. Moro, I don't think he would normally do this, but uh, he just yeah. doesn't want to deal with uh, cannons or whatsoever, any kind of weird shenanigans. I am so surprised that Puzzle's not trying to do anything about this. He drops his Nexus and he just proceeds with his build. Uh, so this shows, to me, this shows supreme confidence. Or maybe he's coming you know, back to be... This is really awesome to Cannon, by the way. It's like pylon, pylon, Cannon. Yeah. Can never fail. It's, uh, I've been there. <laughs> Roddy knows. Yep. But the big problem is, in my opinion, that Zerg should just cancel this and then expand over here. And then Proto still made quite an investment of 350 minerals. Of Is it really worth it? Uh, well, that's up for debate. Now, I like that... Uh, Okay, oh well, maybe like's not the right word, but I, like I said, I do think that this is supreme confidence from Puzzle, saying, all right, I see your hatch first, I'm just going to let it go, because I feel like I can still play my normal game and win. So I'm uh, really eager to see how this one plays out. Morrow has got to be mm. banana grinning right now. And Mano, uh, Morrow taking an extractor before his third hatcher. That's interesting, That's too. That's what Snoot does. Not that Morrow really necessarily learns from Snoot. Morrow's <laughs> playing Bailings first, but, but uh, like, like that's... Uh, all I'm saying is it could be. I want to say, like, uh, yeah, that seems a little far-fetched. However, I do remember that uh, both Moro and Snoot uh, shared the same group at the World Cyber Games in Busan last year. And Snoot actually managed to defeat Moro. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Snoot is a rising star in this scene, it, it seems. Yes, man. From Norway, where Big Mac meals cost $12. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the Big Mac Index. It's a pretty nice way to measure the economy of, of the country. Yeah. Big Mac in uh, Brazil was like the most expensive Big Mac I've ever had to pay for. It was like thirty-two dollars. <laughs> I couldn't. Un I, I didn't understand it because I really thought that Brazil was uh, not going to be that expensive. But boy, was I ever wrong. Yeah. Uh, see, I know, Ben. <laughs> what can I say? I've been there and I brought uh, quite s not a lot of money, but I brought quite a bit. And I thought, man, I'm going to live like a king in Brazil. <laughs> the opposite was true, guys. I was really happy when I could afford two meals a day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's time for baked beans and rice. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, uh, normally, like, if I s yeah, let's say you go somewhere for six, seven days, hotel is paid, flight is paid, and you say, like, okay, I don't want to worry about money. I bring five, six on the euro. I can party a little bit. I can drink some. That should be more than enough. In Brazil, after two days, I was through my money. I was <laughs> like, and I didn't even get drunk. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> how did I do that? <laughs> so wrong. My favorite Brazil story is uh, we had a, I had a buddy down there who showed us around a little bit. And I was like, hey, man, thanks for showing us around. I'll take you out to lunch. It's sort of a thank you. And he's like, really? You, don't, you really don't have to do that. I mean, I was like, no, it's fine. It's the least I can do to I pay insist. you back. I insist. I insist. You have to let me buy you lunch. And so we go to lunch. And what? my meal and his meal. Oh, what? wow. Look at this. Puzzle gets a... Uh, Cannon down at the third bit. That was so cool, by the way, Ben. Did you see that? The cannon actually was up just a little bit too early, and he didn't want uh, to give Moro the chance to actually cancel this hatchery. So he was attacking his own pylon, not revealing the cannon, and then he started attacking the hatch. So smart. Wow. Next level, Kev. And now Moro is, uh, is facing the prospect of losing this hatch. With, with, with three cannons, he's not going to be able to save it. There's no way. Second cannon finishes, third cannon finishes. I don't think that fourth one needs Maybe to Maybe he just wants to take out the pile, and that would be the only chance, but no, it's not going to happen. Uh, if maybe with everything and then two spine crawlers and wait for the pile. But Moro's going to have to sacrifice his base. Really cute cannon rush from Puzzle. He's going to go all out on the pile after all. Oh. Yeah, There's no way. I don't think it's going to happen. That one cannon is focusing the Nexus, the rest are working on the Zerglings, and the Zerglings are all melting away. 
Hatchery Falls. Wow, that was so crazy. I was too busy telling stories about Brazil to uh, even notice. No, actually. Uh, I mean, you won't have to worry about these three cannons no, at least. This pylon's gonna die. Yep, this pylon is gonna die, and that is the moment when Moro is able to clean up. So, Ben, this was really good for Puzzle, but you shouldn't underestimate that this is still quite the investment, and you can really. Uh, 600 no, actually, minerals invested. Yeah, but, yeah, okay, he killed so much. What's the resources lost there, I wonder? Maybe after this. Talk oh, yeah. Good, good exchange for Puzzles, for sure. Uh, and, and the best thing is, Moro is still on. Uh, base and he's so low on workers he only has 35 drones against 48 probes for puzzle that's so big yeah definitely a, a great opening for puzzle who is uh, now i guess just transitioning towards more gateway stuff there's the robo going down i wonder though what what is puzzle going to do from now where is he going with this he had a great great early mid game is he going to try to win this game on two bases which i think is perfectly fine and would be very reasonable or is he going to allow moro to come back in this game by taking a third base Often people say, like, okay, when you're ahead, get ahead. Uh, with Cannon, he was fine. Yeah, of course. It's a bit funky, though. Yeah. It's a lot of Lings, man. Moro is droning yeah. hard. He's building two hatcheries right now. And he's getting double evil chamber, so I think we're going to see a Ling have his uh, playstyle. Kind of like Dima did against uh, Hazu Ops. Yep. It's, uh, it's been very effective. I'd like to tell the story of uh, Damaga using that style against MC and winning several games at the uh, World Championships. And this is a fight you can't oh, look take, at Moro. Those force fields, man. Yeah, but even without those. Oh, force but look fields. at that. He's going to try to counter. Is there anything there to block? There is, in fact. So, uh, pylon for some, some, some Zerglings. Yeah, I'm getting a bailing nest now for Moro as well. I'm kind of liking this. It seems like uh, Puzzle does want to go for two base aggression. And I think Moro knows Puzzle pretty well. And now uh, ooh, we have a hidden probe over here on the top side of the map. Moro knows how extremely important it is to catch these probes. If he catches this probe, man, I think eventually he will be able to hold. Uh, we have a probe over here on the bottom side as well. I think this is going to be so tough for Moro right now. Yeah, that probe's just trying to scout. It does get cleaned up. But uh, once again, we've got uh, we've got 40. Puzzle bearing down on this third base. These can uh, these uh, spine crawlers are going to go down very quickly, and you can't engage that with this much. Oh, from behind, we got the flank, but still with force field, it's going to be fine. Yeah, he, he doesn't, doesn't even need force. He field. doesn't even need force field. Eight zealots, eight stalkers, eight sentries yeah. against 44 links. That's Plus a one also helps a ton. That's a very unfair fight. Again, the third base falls, and Puzzle is just pulling way ahead. Moro is yeah. pretty much. I mean, he's technically not dead, but it's looking very grim. The first Banelings are finally starting to morph. Moro lost so much trying to keep that hatch alive. Uh, I think he should have just realized, yep. okay, that's Stack 300 it. minerals. I'm not going to get back. Uh, he's going to try to make a final holder with those Banelings. Now we do see a couple of force fields, nice force fields once more by Puzzle. Puzzle has played a really good game. We do have a counter on the left side of the map right now by Moro, but... Puzzle's on top of everything, man. Yeah. I guess his Zealous warped in. GG comes out of Moro. And the first game goes decisively yep. to Puzzle. That was cool. Uh, as, I, as I tried to say, I think it would have been much better to just take your loss, okay, you just lost 300 minerals, then just expand in the middle of the map, which is a little bit more funky and makes it harder to defend two base all-ins. Uh, but still, right now, with three cannons up, that's so hard to deal with when your spine crawlers are not even ready yet. Yeah, uh, I, I, I couldn't agree more. And, and, the, and the coolest thing is what you pointed out right at the beginning of the cannon rush. Using, like, cannon finishes a second early, shoots his pylon yeah, a couple so times cool. just to make sure that Morrow doesn't spot it and instantly cancel. And... Uh, and yeah, that's really cool. That game was sponsored by Epson Projectors. And uh, and you guys should check out their website, epson.com slash gaming, for their whole gaming line of products. They make some really good projectors for both gaming and for home theater stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be investing in a in an Epson for my own personal home theater. I can see you with that. Yeah. We were shopping for furniture the other day, and I saw the best desk ever for Ben. <laughs> Because uh, as you guys know, we're setting up a Razer house in uh, Southern California. We're going to invite quite some players soon. And I saw this awesome sort of like Donald Trump <laughs> desk. I was like, Ben, how cool would it be if you sit behind this and then you just like sit on your sit behind your desk like player X come to my office <laughs> right now. And then like all the players are like, oh man, he has to go upstairs. And then Ben sits behind his big desk like, all right, we really have to talk. <laughs> These two base all-ins of you, they're just not working it's anymore. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. You're demotivating the other players to play macro games. <laughs> <laughs> you have one more chance, or you're no longer in the running to be America's next pro gamer. <laughs> wow. But that was good. That was I good. like that. That was, <laughs> that was, that was pretty cool. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to play a very short commercial. When we come back, I'll tell you all the end of my Brazil story, and, uh, and we'll see the, the game two of Moro versus Puzzle. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 